Hi there Capricorn, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your abundance update for June. In this reading Capricorn we look at all things work, career, money, investment, opportunity, finance and if all those cups come out generally it is finding fulfillment in those areas or sometimes it can be how our relationships do impact our abundance as well. So I'm getting started here with the Angels of Abundance. I'll then be drawing you a lead tarot energy from the Moon Child Tarot. We'll use the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot Akashic for the tarot positions. Um, yeah, I didn't have any more to say about that, but it sounded like I did. Sorry, guys. Um, just so you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links are below the video, including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. I'm available for those and would love to read for you. Let's jump into it. Now, I've got uh, release resentments about money here, Capricorn. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world and shift. And this shift will help you attract um, support and golden opportunities. You know, sometimes we might feel, you know, um, hard done by. We might feel jealous of others that have more than us. Or we might just feel like, you know what, we're just not getting the opportunities or the pay rises we deserve. But when we put that, that energy out there, we are really just um, affirming that we're in lack and then we generally um, attract circumstances that, that validate that. So think positive and think like you are already abundant and then you will attract abundance if that's how you truly feel at a core level. It's not enough just to kind of say it, guys, we need to feel it. Yeah, maybe you are clearing some debts. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. So it says here that debts can be not only financial, but also emotional debts. You know, the heavy energy that we carry that can impact um, our you know, ability to be productive, to earn money. Um, how we feel about ourselves that really can impact that energy flow so it's really about what do you need to do to lighten your load how can you make a plan to get ahead and you know as Benjamin Franklin said um, you know failing to plan is planning to fail we really do need to put those action steps in place you know even if they're just small little steps you know and we can really celebrate when we reach those milestones but without a plan guys you know it's all just a hope and a wish that we will get into a better position uh lead tarot energy for you capricorn ace of wands i love it this is new opportunities that light you up if it's a job or career it's that job that feels like it's on purpose that's going to give you growth but you're also going to to feel like you know, it's not a drainer to be there. So I love the, the Ace of Wands. You might be moving um, into the new. Or also this can be the energy of re reinvigorating your energy and your passion. You know, towards um, your work or your creative projects. Whatever it may be for you. Let's go to the Tarot here, Capricorn. Beginning with the energy of the recent past. Energies that may be leaving, completing or transitioning or that has led to this abundant story if this is your reading. I've got the Six of Cups. Now this is an energy of receiving. Um, it can mean a few different things so we'll have to see what the clarifier is for that. It can be about our connections and relationships with others as well. It can be about our deservingness. Hierophant in the challenge position. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need the clarifiers. Advice, we have got the world. Okay, so I feel like there's something that is coming obviously to a grand completion. It could be a debt. I've got justice at the bottom of the deck. Obviously, I'm also feeling um, divorce or separation that might have um, landed you in a debt situation. 
um, that situation is being finalized so then at least you can make a plan to get ahead that's something that's coming through here it could also be you know justice over a workplace situation um, the, the completion of pay, paying off a student loan or study debt whatever you call it in your country also let's get the outcome yes abundance guys I love that the tower is at the bottom of the deck so you might be recovering from a financial tower let's get two cards specifically for the money sector seven of pentacles ace of wands is at the bottom of the deck two of swords okay clarifiers coming in now Clarifying the Six of Cups, I've got Ten of Swords, yeah, so that's our ending energy. Clarifying the Hierophant, Queen of Wands, can be an Aries energy in the Minor Arcana, Three of Swords, yeah. Yep, there's been some hurt here for sure. We've got the Leo, the strength card. Yep, makes sense, guys. I've got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's a lot of opportunity coming through for you. The world, that's the universe as well. Nine of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. So lots of double up energy here, guys. I'm jumping in. So recent past, I've got the Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Universe. So interesting energy. The Ten of Swords uh, is uh, some kind of ending. It can be a painful ending, guys. It can be, you know, when we feel like somebody's kind of done, a, done us wrong. Um, it can be, you know, like some kind of deception as well. It comes up with the Six of Cups. So what I'm kind of feeling here is that some of you might have, like, for example, teamed up in business with somebody that could have even been a childhood friend. And it's like, well, we've got that history. It's all going to be OK. We know each other. And then maybe that has gone bad in some way. Might not have been, you know, because of the relationship being bad, but you might have um, not made it work and there has been a debt incurred and now we're holding a resentment towards that person could have been because of a marriage hierophant to a childhood sweetheart that has um, dissolved and then we have a, a debt situation um, around that so either way I feel like there has been a, a loss here that's impacted financial position but this card here is also about you know once this is over and resolved we need to shift into an energy where we're okay to receive abundance again it is a, an energy of receiving getting things back into balance and harmony in your life now we've got the world energy the last major arcana in this reading twice and it's about you know huge karmic completion so there could have been a really big life lesson um, in this for you but that is over now right it's really over and it really is time to move on to the new when we see um, this energy uh, in the struggles or obstacles and challenges, Taurian energy here with the Hierophant, we've got a um, Aries energy with the Queen of Wands. So the struggle now is to move forward to the new and manifest the new here. Queen of Wands, there has been an opportunity come in, but you're really going to need to meet that with uh, like a lot of action and determination to, to make it happen to follow through. But the Queen of Wands is that energy that will help you, you know, light that fire underneath yourself. It's important to be guided by your instincts here. Maybe in the past you didn't really follow your instincts. You were following like what kind of made sense on a logical perspective. It's saying now to really use that, um, that sense of uh, intuition. Um, it might be time to not follow as, as much of a traditional path here the hierophant can be about traditional so it might be about going your own way going in your own direction there's also a, a theme of going solo or separating from this job from this partnership um, in order to make your own way 
of course the the challenge here with the hierophant could have been that this has been some kind of like committed relationship or marriage situation that has um, impacted your abundance in some way specifically um, around a debt situation um, splitting up assets that kind of thing so the advice from spirit or tarot is to tie up all the loose ends process the hurt and pain and then get on to the new because it's kind of like doing the cosmic alchemy you know when we do finally shut the door okay we've gone through the court if we needed to we've um, given back all the things we've removed all the items from our house that belong to that past situation or we've left that job and we've kind of you know we're done with it it sends some kind of message to the universe to bring in the new because that's what it's all about beyond this point don't hold on to any resentment guys the three of swords can be holding on to the grief and you know really keeping the, the heart wound open we really need to process it and move forward and it's your victory in knowing you know when it is time to to go through the the door to to fully complete this situation right that's what the world is all about it's like it's victory in knowing when it is time to reap when it's time to sow and when it's time to to close doors here and the outcome if you can just have the strength and courage and the determination to get through this patch that you're going through now you know there will be new opportunities coming in very soon um, Leo energy you might be might be dealing with a Leo there could be an opportunity ace of Pentacles that is offered to you from a Leo person um, the strength card is also about listening again to the higher self not letting the beast which could be resentment jealousy hurt um, you know over the situation don't let that consume you you know otherwise it really turns into that beast we really need to coax it under control and, and allow the higher self to guide us. But very soon here, I mean, uh, Capricorn, we have this beautiful earth energy here of the Nine of Pentacles. Now, whatever opportunity comes in for you, this could be a new contract, new job offer, an increase in your finances. It's saying that if you do, you know, invest your time, effort and energy into it, then it can grow right through to the nine and the nine of pentacles is this amazing energy of self-sufficiency independence not needing to rely on others to build something so if you are going to rebuild you know business or or something there is a real sense of you doing it on your own and being really successful and achieving through that you know good things do take time see a little snail there that's kind of that uh indication that of course it's not going to go from clearing a debt to to loads of money in the space of a month but it's all about if we take the right action steps and we put that plan into place tangible milestones and we step through them then we can we can get ourselves back in this position in a decent time frame whatever that will be for you will depend on your situation over here in money capricorn i've got the two of swords and the seven of pentacles i think it's a time to to sit tight um, on big financial decisions um, your hands might be tied in some way you might not have available funds to kind of play with at the moment um, if you are making decisions about investments and that kind of thing just make sure that you don't make them purely from you know you know you let your emotions sway you we need to be uh, looking at the fact and logic like the balance sheet plus using those instincts as well uh, the seven of pentacles can can say to me that maybe this month it's like well we might not be fully getting back uh, what we truly deserve at this time for the energy that we feel that we are putting in but again there's this energy with the seven of pentacles of having patience and that things will will grow in time right we're going from the seven of pentacles to the nine in this reading so keep investing time but also mind your energy and where you're spending energy in places that are not giving you the returns and the rewards there might be some um, some editing that you need to do so that you can really channel your energy into what is really going to um, what is really going to deliver from, for you is what I'm hearing here and that could be first of all you know putting the money into clearing debts and then after that you can really look at you know how am I going to 
to, to get back to building my empire. Okay, Capricorn, well, I'm going to leave it there, and um, I hope you found this, this reading useful, and that it gave you some insight for the road ahead in terms of your abundance. Of course, it is a general reading for the collective. It may or may not be your story this time around. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment if you're cool to share, guys. I do read them all and try to respond to them all as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy, and see what the collective themes are. It's been a pleasure to read your cards. I'm wishing you much love and magic for the month ahead. I will see you back here for plenty more readings throughout the month, Capricorn. Bye for now.